Today we will see about general awareness or GK that will be useful for IPPB executive examination or postman or PA or MTS examination or even for IPO examination. First off, we will see some MCQs. Later on, we will go for uh, uh, what what is the GK or general awareness that you have learned that you have to learn about uh, Sri Lanka's latest uh, situation and uh, the tallest statue in Gujarat of Sardar Vallabhai Patel. That exclusive bits will be covered. And at the last, I will also cover about the Ukraine and uh, Russia war. Some important bits that uh, definitely will be. Uh, coming in the examination and biosphere is the zone of uh, earth on which life is found it includes the parts of hydrosphere stratosphere lithosphere troposphere you should identify which of the which of these includes a biosphere a 1 and 2 only 1 and 3 only b 2 3 and 4 only c 1 2 and 4 only d 1, 3 and 4 only. Your time starts now. Biosphere is a zone of earth on which life is found. And biosphere includes uh, which of these spheres? Hydrosphere, stratosphere, lithosphere and troposphere. The answer is biosphere includes uh, hydrosphere 1 and uh, lithosphere 2 and the troposphere. Except this uh, stratosphere, uh, all these three are called, uh, are included in the are included in the biosphere. Hydrosphere is means it is uh, about the water and lithosphere is about the crust that is the under the soil. It is also called as geosphere and troposphere is about the climate where you will find sunlight, rain, this year area is called troposphere. Stratosphere is where you will find the ozone, la ozone layer, UV rays and where the jet planes go. So these are the different spheres. And next question is, uh, the remains of uh, Vijayanagara Empire are found in Golconda, Bijapur, Baroda, Hampi. Your time starts now. Remains of uh, Vijayanagara Empire are found in, the answer is Hampi. And uh, regarding the Vijayanagara Empire, Harihar Raya and Bukharaya, they have started the dynasty. Sri Krishna Devaraya is the, one of the major uh, uh, Vijayanagara Emperor. And he wrote Amukta Malyada. He is the author of Amukta Malyada. Next question. Panini and Patanjali are renowned names in the literary ancient history of India. They flourished under which dynasty? Pushas, Guptas, Pushyabhuti, Sungas. Your time starts now. Please post your answer in the comment section if you know it. Panini and Patanjali. The answer is Sunga dynasty and Panini Sanskrit we know it is a famous one. It is about the grammar and uh, Astadhyaya it is the commentary by uh, he wrote Astadhyaya Panini uh, Sanskrit grammar and uh, Astadhyaya on Astadhyaya commentary has been made by Patanjali and it is called as uh, that commentary is called as Mahabhashya and Pushyamitra Sunga is the and Pushya Bhuti means here you, you are going to learn about Pushya Bhuti also. Pushya Bhuti is uh, the Harshavardhana dynasty. It is about Harshavardhana dynasty. Harshavardhana has written Priyadarshika, Ratnavali, Kadambari and Naganan. And a Chinese invader called, uh, uh, visitor called Huyan Sang has visited during this period. And Huyan Sang is also known as the Prince of Pilgrim. Harsha Charita is written by Banabat. And Kadambari is also written by the Banabad. Okay. Next question. On the moon, the astronaut cannot drink lemonade with the help of a straw because Akada moon me the lemonade and Nemakanil Tagalid, Indukani and Extrato, Indukan and lemonade evaporates immediately on the moon due to less acceleration due to gravity on the moon. There is no atmosphere uh, on the moon. None of the above. Your time starts now. Why an astronaut cannot drink the lemon water with the help of straw there? 
answer is as there is no atmosphere on the moon obviously there won't be pressure and without pressure you cannot drink water in the straw and uh, regarding moonlight and sunlight sunlight reaches uh, earth in 8 minutes 18 seconds and moonlight reaches earth in uh, 1.3 seconds this you have to remember champion is a program to en- encourage the sports especially <coughs> under 14 girls scheme for the best sports persons uh, to find place in the best universities technology platform as a one stop solution for msmes grievances and opportunities a support scheme for under 14 kids uh, who exhibit uh, extraordinary courage to the to protect others your time starts now champion means what which of the following program is called a champion the answer is it is a technology platform as a one stop solution for msmes grievances and opportunities msmes means micro small and medium enterprises these are the firms uh, uh, they are given some uh, one stop solution platform to redress the grievances and opportunities for msmes next question they may ask the full form of msmes also youth affairs and sports uh, union ministry has launched the top scheme tops tops uh, junior scheme expand tops target olympia olympic uh, podium scheme take off pounds sensibly total optimization uh, physical synthesis total ownership on para olympic sports your time starts now youth affairs uh, sports ministry has launched the top scheme okay what is that answer is target olympic podium scheme tops uh, that is the target olympic podium scheme is a flagship program of the ministry of youth and uh, youth affairs and sports which is an attempt to, to provide assistance to the india's top athletes uh, and they shall become the uh, they should win the medals uh, in the ensuing olympic olympics okay next question which of the following uh, is a land locked harbor mumbai ennore haldia visakhapatnam your time starts now 5 seconds which is the following is a land locked harbor the answer is visakhapatnam the port which is encircled by land from all sides uh, all sides uh, with water passage towards the sea or ocean is termed as a land locked port anvaypul nunchi land toti kappabadi oka madhyalo oka area maatrame unte ganaka danni land lock antare see here this is an inner harbor here there is a inner harbor channel and outer harbor so this is all this area is land locked and only one channel is there such a port is only in visakhapatnam and it is the deepest uh, port also next question who releases uh, gender social norms index gsni who undp iucn unicef your time starts now please post your answer in the comment section gender social norms index who will release this gender social norms index the answer is undp undp is nothing but united nation development program undp's headquarters is in new york and uh, human development index uh, they will release they will also release the multi- multi poverty index mpi and they will also release the gender inequality index also these three indexes uh, indices uh, they will release undp and uh, who regarding who world health organization and world health day is celebrated on 7th of april every year and uh, world health organization's headquarters is in geneva u iucn means international union of uh, conservation of nature and its headquarters is uh, glan switzerland and uh, iucn uh, that is international union of conservation of nature releases a red list and red list means it it contains the list of uh, endangered plants and animals in the list okay these things you should remember next question blue flag program seeks to promote eco tourism in andaman and uh, nicobar islands sustainable development uh, in fresh water and marine areas the use of a blue tablet to fight anemia in kids inland water fisheries uh, in ganges and its uh, tributaries your time starts now what is a blue flag program it promotes what the answer is it's sustainable development in fresh water and marine areas 
you should remember next question point colimeri a region famous for its uh, mangrove vegetation deltaic feature and marine climate is situated on the mouth of which river vaigai godavari kaveri mahanadi your time starts now 5 seconds point colimeri is a region famous for its mangrove vegetation it is situated in the mouth of which river the answer is kaveri river point colimeri is there it is in tamil nadu and uh, godavari regarding godavari if you see about godavari it is uh, 1465 kilometers uh, wide and it is starts from nasik and there are there is a polavaram project in ap under uh, godavari and kaleshwaram in telangana that is also on godavari and regarding krishna we have uh, nagarjun sagar and sri salem dams on krishnas and mahanadi is on chettisgarh and uh, it is in hirakud dam next question cytotron is a surgical robot to perform complicated uh, carnic surgeries with 100% percolation perlocation and supercomputer developed by iisc bangalore a breakthrough device uh, in liver and uh, breast cancer treatment a cytotron developed by iit roorkee your time starts now cytotron means what the answer is a breakthrough device in liver and breast cancer treatment okay iisc is uh, only in bangalore this also you may have to remember indian institute of sciences uh, who among us the following is the regulator of insurance sector in india amfi amfi rbi sebi irda your time starts now 5 seconds regulator of insurance sector in india the answer is irda irda is a insurance regulatory authority of india its headquarters is in hyderabad uh, telangana and sebi is a security exchange board of india it is headquarters is in mumbai rbi it has been formed in 14 1935 and uh, under the commission of uh, hilton young commission or royal commission and rbi looks into the monetary policy okay as you are uh, preparing for uh, ippp examination these are important next question dear dear money policy means what large money supply high pro- high production high rate of interest uh, high price level your time starts now dear money policy means what Five seconds. The answer is high rate of interest. Uh, it is also called a dear money means. Uh, it is also called as tight money policy. Also, RBI imposes tight money policy, uh, and uh, it gives loans to the commercial banks. And if RBI gives loans to the banks for high rate of interest uh, under dear money policy, and whenever the high rate of interest is high for the banks, uh, they automatically. Uh, impose uh, high rates of interest on the loans uh, taken by the customers or firms or people automatically the when the road, uh, rate of interest is high the customers will have low demand and for the loans and uh, automatically the demand will also be low and bank rate is uh, high in this in such a case uh, in a dear money policy the bank rate will be high the crr will be high the statutory uh, liquidity ratio slr will be high repo rate will also be high it is to control the inflation and opposite is called as cheap money policy you can see here the differences between a cheap money policy and a dear money policy cheap money policy will be implemented in inflation cases and recession cases a dear money policy will be implemented and inflation or cheap money policy in such a case borrowing will be easy consumers will buy more businesses will expand more people are employed people spend more whereas in recession the borrowing is difficult consumers buy less businesses postpone expansion and employment increases and production also gets reduced okay next question which of the following uh, is not required for photosynthesis oxygen carbon dioxide sunlight water your time starts now 5 seconds not required for photosynthesis the answer is oxygen oxygen is not required however oxygen is uh, a by product in the photosynthesis carbon dioxide plus hyd- uh, h2o means water 
in the sunlight and uh, in the presence of chlorophyll that is in the green color it produces glucose plus oxygen so oxygen is not there you need carbon dioxide you need water you need sunlight for photosynthesis and oxygen is not required and oxygen is an out output of the photosynthesis okay next come malaria is caused by male anopheles mosquito female anopheles mosquito female culex mosquito male culex mosquito our time starts now malaria is caused by which of the following by seconds post your answer in the comment section the answer is female anopheles mosquito malaria parasites are microorganisms that belongs to genus plasmodium this also you have to remember malaria affects uh, rbc red blood cells and the liver next question how many liters of uh, blood do you have in your body 4 liter 4 to 6 liters 7 to 8 liters 9 to 10 liters 10 to 12 liters your time starts now please post your answer in the comment section the answer is 4 to 6 liters blood will have will have four main components one is plasma in the plasma in the blood uh, plasma composition is 55% uh, uh, of the blood is plasma and in plasma 90% of the plasma is water okay in blood 55% is plasma and in plasma 90% is water red blood cells the second component is red blood cells rbc it transports the oxygen o2 and white blood cells wbc it it uh, protects the infections and antibodies will be antibodies will be produced here with the help of wcs and platelets uh, it allows us to clot the blood okay whenever there is a whenever the platelet counts uh, uh, depletes or gets less you will get a, a dengue fever next question the vaccine for the smallpox was discovered by whom louis pasteur edward jenner robert edwin alexander fleming your time starts now vaccine for smallpox was discovered by whom we will discuss about uh, sri lanka ukraine and uh, highest statue edward jenner the answer is edward jenner the father of immunization immunization uh, edward jenner is called the father of immunization alexander fleming has uh, invented the uh, penicillin next question bowman's capsule is a part of which uh, liver kidney heart brain your time starts now 5 seconds where do you find the bowman's capsule either it is in liver kidney heart or brain the answer it is it is in the kidney and uh, two more points is that biggest cell is egg cell and longest cell is nerve cell okay. next question river indus originates uh, from the northern slope of the karakoram range kailash range jaskar range ladakh range your time starts now indus river river indus originates from the northern slope of what the answer is kailash range and indus river uh, uh, indus water tributaries are five five tributaries are there one is jhelum it is in pak and chinab it is in pak ravi is in india bias uh, is in india ravi bias and uh, satlas b e a s bias it is in satlas satlas in is in india all the three rbs are in india jhelum and chinab are in pak and all these five are the indus water tributaries next question odometer is in automobiles is an instrument uh, used for measuring measurement of what speed power distance fuel consumption your time starts now odometer you find in on a, in a bike a car or such thing what is that it will measure what the answer is it measures the distance you will find the distance in the, that is called odometer odometer is used to measure the distance in automobiles and tachometer measures the engine rmp that is revolution per minute and speedometer measures the speed now we will see few questions uh, first of india who is the first female just, chief justice it is fatima bivi who is the first indian travel to function into travel space it is rakesh sharma who is the first home minister of india he is the sardar vallabhbhai patel who is the first chief minister of india is sucheta kripalni 
who is the first railway minister of india post independence it is john mataya and uh, first indian to win uh, oscar award is bhanu mataya first indian to win grammy award is pandit ravi shankar first speaker of lok sabha is ganesh vasudev mavalankar and first woman to receive bharat ratna is indira gandhi first chief justice of india apex court of supreme court is uh, justice hari lal jaki sandas kaniya and first indian to win the nobel prize uh, is rabindranath tagore first indian pilot is jrd tata okay these are the first take a screenshot now we will see about ukraine and uh, i will cover all the top uh, topics regarding ukraine some small bits you should remember for the examination ukraine currency is hryvnia uh, that is hry vnia and it is also called as uah and ukraine is separated from russia in 1991 earlier it is called as ussr uh, put together so many countries they have divided in that uh, ukraine is one of the biggest country in 1991 this 91 is important headquarters of ukraine is uh, kyiv and uh, there are seven countries that share the border with U- ukraine and it is also black sea is also near to it and the seven countries are belarus hungary moldova poland romania russia and slovakia we know that there is a war between ukraine and russia and it is in news because of the war and nato nato is a north atlantic treaty organization and its headquarters is in brussels belgium and there are 28 uh, european union countries under nato total countries are 20 two north american countries that is usa and uh, canada are part of the nato so total how many countries are there in nato means 30 countries out if they ask you question how many european union countries are there it is 28 how many american countries two countries who is the president of uh, ukraine he is in the news recently volodymyr zelensky who is the prime minister denis shimal these things take a screenshot on the banks of which river is kyiv the capital of ukraine situated it is nipper river d is silent here nipper river which operation was conducted to evac- evacuate uh, indians in ukraine operation ganga this is important what is the aircraft used c17 which sea is located in the south of ukraine it is black sea okay black sea you have to remember next question see here you you have the ukraine here the russia is here belarus so seven seven countries are there i told belarus poland slovakia hungary romania and moldova next question regarding russia if you see the headquarters is moscow the currency is russian ruble the president is vladimir putin and prime minister is mikhail mishustin okay defense minister is uh, sergey shogu russia is not a member of european union that you have to remember russia invaded crimea in 2014 crimea is one country it was invaded in 2014 nord stream is a natural gas pipeline constructed between russia and germany this germany is important nord stream is a natural gas pipeline constructed between russia and germany they may ask which country between which countries and uh, this nord stream is a gen- natural gas pipeline it is germany longest river in russia is uh, volga river and which two provinces of ukraine have been declared independent by russia it is donetsk and luhansk this is also important and uh, which is the largest foreign intelligence agency in russia it is gru i don't want to pronounce that uh, it is in russia it is the chief intelligence office okay gru means that is uh, next uh, now we will come about coming to the sri lanka sri lanka's capital is colombo it is executive and uh, judicial capital of sri lanka is colombo whereas uh, legislative capital is jayawardenapura kotte and uh, currency is rupee languages are sinhala and tamil two languages they will speak president is gotabaya rajapaksa and the recent prime minister is ranil vikrama singhe he is from the united national party and sri lanka has been in news as it has defaulted a multi million pound foreign debt payment and uh, what is the straits sub- that separates india from pak sri lanka it is palk strait here you 
you can see it is india here it is palk strait and it is sri lanka okay and now we will see about the statue of unity it was completed in the year 2018 and the statue of unity depicts uh, sardar vallabhai patel the first deputy prime minister and home minister of india and it why it is famous it is the world's largest statue it is the world's largest statues largest statue in the world is statue of unity and its uh, height is 182 meters earlier we used to have 128 meters statue some other statue in other uh, other country now it is 182 meters it is the highest in india uh, highest in the world it is located in satpura and uh, vindhyachal hills uh, in kevadiya gujarat okay this kevadiya gujarat and narmada district which district narmada district all these are important and the hills it is satpura and vindhyachal so there are so many bits when it was completed 2018 what is it called statue of unity it is on whose name it has been built it is sardar vallabhai patel who what is he he is the first deputy prime minister and the home minister also and national unity day is celebrated on 31st of october this is also important on the birthday of vallabhai javer bhai patel it is a full name vallabhai javer bhai patel and uh, architect who built this uh, who is the architect of this uh, statue of unity ram v sutar he was given padma bhushan also and uh, materials used are reinforced concrete and bronze so bronze uh, it is uh, used and reinforced concrete also they have used and uh, interesting thing is that it will turn green after 100 years because it is made of bronze because of oxidation it turns green after 100 years okay these are all the points and uh, which operation was carried out by sardar patel to make hyderabad state a part of indian republic it is operation polo okay operation polo do you know about operation blue star that is the the time when indira gandhi has uh, evacuated the one who has occupied the uh, golden temple that is called operation blue star this is uh, hyderabad state uh, it is called operation polo bharat ratna was awarded posthumously to sardar patel in 1991 uh, bharat ratna posthumously means after death he is also called as iron man of india during which moment uh, was sardar given the title of sardar the badoli satyagraha was the major present moment in gujarat in 1928 led by vallabhai patel after the success of badoli satyagraha the women of badoli gave the title sardar patel who has given means women of badoli they have given the title sardar to the sardar vallabhai patel here why this uh, he uh, 535 provinces have been united by him that is why we celebrate the national unity day on the birthday of uh, sardar vallabhai patel on 31st of october all these are bits take a screenshot thank you thank you one and all all the best for your examinations